Liz Cheney is somehow inexplicably running as a Republican and says that she wants to continue as a Republican, even though she is an arsonist inside her own house. Uh, Liz Cheney, the arsonist inside of the GOP. Now, Adam Kinzinger was, for his trouble, bootlicked as hard and as much as he could. The Democrat powers that be, for his trouble, he got redistricted out of a district. Adam Kinzinger will not be entering, will not be a congressman in 2022. Liz Cheney is somehow inexplicably running as a Republican and says that she wants to continue as a Republican, even though she is an arsonist inside her own house. Well, that's bad. Kevin McCarthy came to the support of Liz Cheney's primary opponent, Margaret Hageman, who received Donald Trump's endorsement and wishes to represent the residents of Wyoming. After spending time with Harriet, it is readily apparent that she will always listen and prioritize the needs of her local communities and is focused on tackling our nation's biggest problems, McCarthy told the outlet. So speaking. I look forward to serving with Harriet for the years to come. McCarthy's endorsement reflects a rising animosity between Cheney and other Republican leaders. In addition to being replaced as chair of the House Republican Conference last year, which is unbelievable, as Cheney had the, held the number three position in the House up until last year. Cheney was censured as part of her state party censuring and the Republican National Committee censuring. Voters appear to desire a replacement to Cheney in Wyoming state straw poll conducted last month. Hageman soundly defeated Cheney in a landslide. In his endorsement message for Hageman, Trump blasted Cheney as disloyal and a warmonger and a reflection of her hawkish, hawkish foreign policy views. I strongly endorse Republican House of Representatives candidate Margaret Harriet Hageman from Wyoming, who is running against warmonger and disloyal Republican Liz Cheney. Trump said Hageman is a fourth-generation daughter of Wyoming and is very successful attorney and has the support and respect of the truly great U.S. Senator, Wyoming's own Cynthia Loomis. Cynthia Loomis, very good senator from Wyoming, very, very based. She supports the Second Amendment, loves the military, and our vets. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the clip of McCarthy endorsing Liz Cheney. Go. We want to get to the bottom of that. We want to know why an attorney general to hold him accountable going after parents who want to have a say in their kids' education. This is one of the main reasons why I endorsed Harriet Hegman today, who's running in Wyoming. Wyoming deserves to have a representative who will de deliver the accountability against this Biden administration, not a representative that they have today that works closer with Nancy Pelosi going after Republicans instead of stopping these radical Democrats for what they're doing to this country. So if you want to join with us, go to firepelosi.com and let's make this happen. <clears throat> There is and must be a reckoning here in this country for people to understand that there is an element that wishes to merely protect their own institutional power. They don't care about you. They're not public servants. They're servants of themselves. It is a depressing realization when you consider the fact that so many in your own party so many in your own party actively sabotage your desire and your will as the electorate. I have before me right now a list of 19 U.S. Senators who voted for funding vaccine mandates in the Senate yesterday. Mike Lee had an amendment that would defund the federal government's ability to enforce the vaccine mandate. Four senators didn't even show up. Mitt Romney among them. 
and 19 senators voted for the funding of the vaccine mandate inside the Biden administration. Those senators are Barrasso of Wyoming, Blunt of Missouri, Caputo of West Virginia, Cassidy of Louisiana, Collins of Maine, Cornyn of Texas, Haggerty of Tennessee, Hyde Smith of Mississippi, Kennedy of Louisiana, McConnell of Kentucky, Moran of Kansas, Murkowski of Alaska, Portman of Ohio, Rounds of South Dakota, Rubio of Florida, Shelby of Alabama, Tillis of North Carolina, Wicker of Mississippi, and Young of Indiana. It is pretty easy to connect the dots, the support of the pharmaceutical industry for senators, and then see how they are voting. They are voting against your priorities, against your value, against your worldview. They're claiming the mantle of Republicans. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the Great Awakening, not the Great Reset. And that has been made clear quite evidently in our current political environment. Woke means broke. Wokeism is the path to destruction. The only way we are going to save this nation is if we put people in power who love this country and who fight for it. 